being a spaz, right? Point the finger. But then I thought about it. I'm like, hey, bro. I'm like, this is my mental dialogue, right? Hey, bro, you used to be a spaz. Like, how are you going to point the finger at him when you used to be a spaz? And oh, good point, right? So what I started to do is two things. One, I would keep them really close. So whenever, I, and I still do this to this day, whenever I roll with like big guys uh, or little guys, doesn't matter, I'll talk about that in a second. Whenever I roll with a spazzy person, I keep them tight. Full guard, half guard, tight, no space. I don't want them to move around because when they move, that's where things go wrong. If I start to see that they're doing something, I'll give them a little advice like, hey, in this position, you should be doing this. And then I try to basically work them. Like, I try to make sure that they understand that, like, I've got good control, I'm using good technique, and I don't give them a lot of space to move. Because, again, for me, when I was wanting to point the finger at some of these football players and some of these really big, strong guys, it wasn't because I had their best interest in mind. It was because I was frustrated my, my, that my jiu-jitsu wasn't working for a second. You know, that's really what it was. I was frustrated because they were able to nullify my jiu-jitsu with physicality. And so, for me, again... Realizing that, I'm like, okay, well, I need to fi figure out how my jiu-jitsu works against this because, again, this is just the way I look at it. If I'm out on the street and some big football player or some big person puts me in a headlock or they're spazzing out on me in a fight, I can't ask that person, hey, would you, uh, would you mind chilling out a little bit? I can't ask them that. I have to understand how to deal with it. And so it's very important that, you know, if you guys are doing jiu-jitsu, you have to be careful with what you're doing. Because, yes, there are people that sometimes are unsafe, but I think a lot of times noisy as cars. The spazzy argument is less about, you know, the person being unsafe and more about people becoming frustrated that their jiu-jitsu is not working, right? Because jiu-jitsu is technique conquers all. And for some reason, my technique is not being useful against this really physical person. So and here's one more aside uh, to this whole spaz argument. I've never heard anybody say anything bad about a little spaz, right? They say all, it's all the time the big guy, the big guy, the big guy, the big guy, the big guy spaz. Everybody always complains about the big guy. But I've never heard anybody say, you know what? This little guy's spazzy and he kicked me in the mouth. But it happens all the time. I have little, I've been a coach for hundreds of people. I've been here for almost 10 years coaching full time. And I'll tell you what, I've had just as many little spazzes as big spazzes. Like when I roll with a little guy, I don't give him any space either because here's, just happened the other day. I was rolling with a guy who's about 140 pounds, just signed up to the gym a few weeks ago. He's been training, and I was trying to sort of let him move a little bit. Boom, he needs me right in the mouth. I'm like, ugh. Like, stupid idea, stupid me. I shouldn't have given him the space. Okay? He's spazzing out, too. The only difference is with a little guy who's a spaz, you can kind of hold him down a little bit. With a big guy spaz, you're, you're going along for the ride a little bit, and it's much more difficult to make your jiu-jitsu work. That said, again, personally, I think it's a really good test to your jiu-jitsu. Can you use jiu-jitsu on a person that comes in outside the street and walks into your, your gym? Can you use it on them? It's a good test because that's going to be like, to me, that's going to be a really good idea to, to whether or not your jiu-jitsu works when you leave the gym. Like, is it going to work against a guy who's not engaging like a jiu-jitsu practitioner? It's a super useful thing. Now, that's what I say first. Now, on the other side of this, the spaz is out there. When you guys are spazzy, understand that you want to... The big thing is be conscious about where your body is, right? It's just like breathing, you know? Like, I can sit there and breathe right now and not think about it, or I can be aware of it, right? It's those two things. A lot of times in jiu-jitsu, and especially early on, everything's happening so fast, and it's so intense, you can't really think about anything going on, and your body's literally just moving on instinct. 